Which one? All right, day 11. Obviously, we are at a Walmart. Um, so what we did is we split up. She took my car and drove over here to a Walmart, which, which is we're like 30 miles or so away from our campground. And um, I took the RV and put gas in it and met her here. So we're going to pick up a few things and then we're going to be on to our next campground. That's pretty much the plan. She wanted to have some new blankets for the RV because she thought it was getting cooler. So we're going to buy them. Slightly crazy children. <laughs> okay then. All right, all hooked up in the Walmart and ready to rock. We're just gonna get our groceries put away and then we're on our way. Okay, we are at Yogi Bear, Jellystone of the Adirondacks or something like that. About 160 some miles north of where we were. And we're kind of out in a little loop by ourselves. It's kind of empty in here actually. Um, but there's some more campers over there. But we are going to go maybe see the family heading off. But we're going to go check out what there is to do for the kids. But they have, you know, basically all the stuff. Yogi Bears are usually pretty equipped campgrounds. So we'll be here for a couple of nights. We might go out and do some stuff tomorrow, we'll see. But uh, after this, we're heading up into Montreal and we're just gonna be a more urban place. Well, actually, the, we're gonna stay at a KOA. Maybe it's not so urban, I have no idea. So anyway, today's a fairly uneventful day. Nice, easy trip up. Let's go see what's going on. They love these things. In 10 minutes, there's some kind of a hay hay ride. That's very nice. So, Ellie, do you know where the campfire is? All right, the kids are over there playing on the little, basically, little beach. Oh, here's, here comes one of them. Dad, you're making a fire? May, well, you wanted it, but I told you if you found your friends, you weren't going to be that interested. And Nathan's around there somewhere. Campfire number two, which is funny because, well, it's not funny. It's actually kind of like weird because they've got, so they, New York has this law about bringing wood from anywhere over about 50 miles away. And I, I can, I'll swear to God, that it's almost like a campground lobby came up with that damn thing. Uh, you know, they've got some environmental excuse, but I wonder how real it is. The reason is, is because I bought that with like five or six things of wood in it for $8.50. And I'm like, right, you gotta be kidding. Now, that, that dark log was already there, but all these other things I paid for, that's expensive for wood. But whatever. The game called Superheroes. Superheroes? Yeah, Nathan, don't throw sand around I, the air, I okay? Never threw sand. I threw sand. Yeah. I, I never threw sand. Mm hmm. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I'm going to relax for a little bit. 